Dr. Murat Aslan, who's an expert in security, intelligence and propaganda studies. Um, Murat, first of all, these talks have been declared a failure. So what now? What next? Well, uh, if you want, first, I want to mention the importance of Dara. Dara is one of the three pockets that is held by opposition uh, at the south of Syria. And Dara is uh, actually maybe, you know, tiered in two parts. And by that way, opposition held territory will be captured by Assad. It will be very easy afterwards. And after the uh, talks failed, we can easily claim that there will be an indiscriminate military campaign in the region. There will be some humanitarian consequences of that. And Free Syrian Army most probably will lose the game in this part of the city after harsh uh, exchange of fires. I want to ask you about the significance of the timing of this announcement and, and Russia's direct involvement in talks with the opposition fighters. Well, Russia and uh, opposition had talks in Sochi, as you remember, a, a couple of months ago by means of Turkish efforts. And Russia wants to have initiative in the region, especially at the south, uh, keep contact with opposition, Assad, and also the other actors, and later then decide what to do in the region. And after the talks have failed, we can easily claim that Russia will start the campaign, and started actually, and uh, try to push the Free Syrian Army to the south of the uh, Dara. What is the humanitarian cost of this offensive in Dara? I know it's very difficult to quantify at this stage, but can you give us some idea? There are different uh, categories. The first one is the immigration. Immigration of the population, you know, has started, and thousands will flow in Jordan or maybe Israel if they can reach. Uh, another issue, the infrastructure of the city. We have witnessed that Ghouta, Halep uh, was destroyed, totally destroyed by Assad regime and Russia. That means the same will happen in Gut, uh, Dara. That means all infrastructure will collapse in the coming months. Dr. Murat Aslan, thank you very much.